Hi there and welcome to my tutorial on doing double jumps for the platform controller in Godot. Let's imagine that you've already made a very simple platform game like this. This is me setting up a really simple tile map. I'm using the Kenny assets for this one. And then once I've set up the tile map, I'm going to save that up as a scene and make sure that I also add in the character. This again is going to just be a really, really simple character. I'm going to use an animated sprite. I'm going to use the Kenny assets as well. And I'm just going to turn this animated sprite into a character body 2D. I'm going to use the default script for this character body 2D. And then once we're ready, I'm going to show you how we can make it do a normal control and then add in the standard two jump controls. All right, so let's get started. This is me with my uh, standard player controller. I'm going to just save him off as a prefab. I've made a prefab folder. I'm going to save this branch as a scene and just put it into that prefab folder. Once it's in there, I can work on that as like a top level prefab. So I don't need to worry about it. So with that open, I'm just going to add a script to him and I'm not going to do anything special. We're just going to add the absolute basic script that you get when you create a script on a character body 2D. It's called player.gd and we'll just save it. You'll probably see this when you do this yourself. And then we're going to change this so that we can make this double jump. So we're just going to go back into the main scene. So um, just to see what it looks like before we do anything to it and make sure that it works. So I've got player.gd and player.tscn. Um, what I'm going to do is just go back into the main level one scene with the, the one with the tile map and just uh, move this player into position. Um, from there, we're just going to test this one scene. So uh, yours should do this right now. We've probably got to this point already, which is why you're watching this video. Um, so you can see that everything works as it is. It's kind of also not important, but I'm adding a camera um, as well onto this uh, character so that the camera follows it and I'm um, just making sure that the animations work as well. So hopefully you've got something that you're happy with so we can move on to looking at what we need to do inside of the code. All right, so we're gonna need a couple of variables. Firstly, we're gonna need the number of jumps that you've actually done. And we're also going to need the maximum number of jumps that you're allowed. From there, we need to have a little look at the code and see why we jump. You'll see from line 21 that the reason that you jump is because you're on the floor and you press the UI accept button by default. We're going to have to change this. So rather than just making sure that you're on the floor being, being the reason that you're allowed to jump, the reason you're allowed to jump is that your jump count is less than the maximum number of jumps. And really importantly, once you've done that, just make your jump count go up by one so that you can't jump forever. Now, when we test this, you'll see that it works perfectly. Um, there is one minor problem. So we can jump twice, which is perfect, but we can't ever jump again because we've never set jump count back to zero again. And that's a lot easier than it seems too. All we need to do is before we do the test for the um, player pressing the key, we just need to check if we're on the floor. If we're on the floor, we set that jump count back to zero again so that we can jump again if we do manage to touch the floor. And as you can see from that, it's that simple. You can now jump twice. And if you set the max jump count to three, you'll be able to jump three times. Perfect.